Welcome to the spooky installment of Mega Man What If, the show where we look at what if events in the Mega Man timeline were different. The Maverick Virus, also known as the Sigma Virus and the Zero Virus, is the catalyst in the Mega Man X series. The reason that the series happens to begin with. A computer virus that corrupts the minds of the various reploids, causing them to do crimes and murder. But what if it was different? Along its 100 year gestation period in Zero's pod, what if the effects of the Maverick virus had changed as it had mutated? Our story begins in Maverick Hunter Base, the main base for the Maverick Hunters located in the heart of Able City. The Hunters had been scattered recently due to the massive outbreaks of Maverick Mechanoloids as well as other Maverick Reploids due to hardware defects. X, have you found any leads on the Maverick outbreaks? This is Commander Sigma the commander of the 17th Special Unit of the Maverick Hunters, as well as the second-in-command of the Maverick Hunters in general. Nothing of note yet, but I'm worried about these new Mavericks, sir. The last couple I found, they were acting manic, like something was eating away at their circuitry. It, it was awful. This is Mega Man X, or X for short, a B-class hunter in the 17th unit. Hmm. Yes, that does line up with other reports I've got, but what could be the cause? Commander Sigma, X, we've gotten a distress signal from Chill Penguin. This is Opera, one of the navigators of the Maverick Hunters. He was investigating a Maverick attack in Area Z. We got an audio message from him, but it was very distorted. X and Sigma quickly head out on ride chasers, going to the area in Area Z that Chill Penguin was last seen. The outskirts. As the two enter the building where Chill Penguin was last heard, it looks like it was almost abandoned. The power was also completely cut. X walked further in, scanning the area, and his eyes widened at what he saw. He saw a pile of mutilated reploid corpses, and no sign of Chill Penguin. As he slowly approached the bodies, he began to examine them. They had cuts all across their bodies, but it didn't seem like they were made from a weapon. They were very crude, almost like something dug its fingers into them and started tearing them apart. Who could have done this? Suddenly, X heard a rattling coming from around the corner. He readied his buster. It was Chill Penguin, but he looked odd. His eyes were now pitch black with red pupils. And he had almost blood-like rust covering his body. Another reploid was following behind him that had the same sort of appearance. Ch Chill Penguin, what happened to you? X was hesitating to fire, but he got no response. Chill Penguin simply shambled towards him, reaching out a rusted hand. X, what are you doing? Sigma leaps in front of X, igniting his beam saber. But Commander, that's Chill Penguin! That thing is not Chill Penguin. Not anymore. The Chill Penguin in front of them opened his mouth and began firing his shotgun ice. Sigma began deflecting the blasts with his saber before leaping toward the Mavericks. With one clean slash, Sigma slices the Mavericks in half, their bodies falling, bleeding out onto the floor. X stares at the body of his former comrade. Sigma puts a hand on X's shoulder. Come on, we need to inform Dr. Kane of what's happening. Y yes sir. X takes one look back at Chill Penguin's body before leaving. They made their way to Dr. Kane's laboratory, a secluded building off to the outskirts of Able City. Hmm, I see. So, it is another instance. Another? You were already aware of this? This is Dr. Kane, the man who found Mega Man X and the one who created the rest of the Reploids. It has been brought to my attention in the multiple reports I've gotten. I've sent them to my partner, Dr. Doppler, who is currently looking into a cure for this 
Maverick virus. A virus? You mean like a computer virus? Correct. We don't know where it originated or how it is spread, but we do know that there is a virus that is corrupting reploid systems and turning them into those monsters. Just then, Sigma receives a signal. Commander Sigma. Commander. Opera. Attacking. Opera respond. Opera. The transmission ended. Sigma immediately turns to X. X, we have to go to Hunter Base, now! They both quickly leave the lab and get on their ride chasers, going back to Hunter Base. Dr. Kane lets out a sigh as they leave. Was it due to my hubris that this is happening? Perhaps if I never discovered X? As they get back to Hunter Base, the sun is just about to set and neither X nor Sigma can see any lights on in the base. Just like Area Z. Be on your guard. X silently nods, readying his buster. Out of the corner of his eye, X saw a light shining towards him. He leaps as a bolt of lightning strikes the wall behind him. <laughs> I missed. It appeared to be a female reploid but it was one that neither X nor Sigma recognized. Due to the darkness of the room, it was difficult to make out all of her features, though from the glowing energy coursing through both of her arms, they could make out that she was wearing a greenish armor, and it appeared that she had parts from other reploids stitched onto her. Sigma looked unamused as he looked back at her, Odd that you managed to get in here. Only Maverick Hunters are able to get past the security locks on the doors. Care to explain how you managed that? A claw then launches from the other side of the room, Sigma easily sidestepping it. Damn, he's better than I thought. The claw retracted, revealing another unfamiliar reploid. This time being a male wearing a bluish armor and having some sort of sight scope on his eye. So, you really think you can best me? Well then, I'll show you why you don't mess with a Maverick Hunter! Without any hesitation, Sigma leapt at the male Reploid, cutting his claw arm clean off. <coughs> why, you?! With his remaining arm, he takes out a sickle and tries to stab it into Sigma, which just bounces off of his armor. And what did you expect that to do? With one more clean slash, the Reploid is cut clean in half as his body falls into pieces on the floor. Crosscut! I'll... I'll kill you! The female Reploid had charged up electricity on her one arm and was about to shoot a lightning bolt at Sigma's back. However, as Sigma was dealing with Crosscut, X was charging up a fully charged shot, and he fires it at the female Reploid before she can fire the large ball of energy tearing through her body in an instant. There's definitely something bigger going on here. My thoughts exactly. We should split up. You go to the generator room and see if you can bring back power. I'll see if I can find any more clues as to what truly happened. Yes, sir! And with that, the two of them part ways. Sigma began searching the base, but everyone seemed to be missing. He couldn't find any of the other Maverick Hunters or Navigators. That is, until he heard growling. It was a purple mechanoloid that resembled a wolf. This was Sigma's own pet mechanoloid, Valgarder. He appeared to be growling at another Reploid. This one was one that Sigma knew all too well. He was male with a very distinct long nose and orangish armor with green wing-like appendages. This was Blight Mosquito, a member of the Assassination Unit, aka the Zeroth Unit. Ah, scram, mutt, before I infect you! Or perhaps I- ah! You know, I always thought that if there was any hunter that would betray me, it would be a coward like you, Mosquito. C command X Commander Sigma, you really think that you can stop us? After how long you've served me, I'm surprised you haven't learned by now. 
I only do things in absolutes! Sigma lunges at him with his saber. Mosquito quickly raises his buster and shoots out some sort of green substance that attaches onto Sigma, but it doesn't appear to do anything as Sigma grabs Mosquito by his neck. <laughs> you really thought that that would work on me? I impossible! There's enough of the virus in here to infect the entire base! How are you- Without another word, Sigma stabs his saber into Mosquito slicing him upwards through the head. Sigma then drops Mosquito's body and drops to one knee. He begins to cough. It took all of his energy to fight off the virus that much just to kill him. Velgarder whimpered, nudging his arm. I'll... I'll be fine. We need to find X and end this now. X had made it to the generator room. Similarly to Sigma, he didn't see any of the other Maverick Hunters or Navigators around. As he's scanning the area, he does hear a skittering sound. As he looks down toward the ground where it's coming from, he sees a small rat mechanoloid running in towards where the generator is. X silently follows. Good job, little one. We are this much closer to our final goal. It was a large red rat reploid standing right by the generator. Similarly to the other reploids they'd been fighting, this one also had that green substance flowing through its body. X aims his buster at the reploid. Stop! Why are you doing this? Oh, we missed one. Well, if you must know, we are trash. Humans threw us out. Reploids condemned us, so we are simply getting what we deserve. Once we infect the mother computer, all the Reploids across the world will become maverick, and the humans will know our revenge. So you're nothing but another group of mavericks. Then I'll have to put you down. X began firing, but the Reploid leaped into the air above the shots, bringing its gigantic claw down, trying to slash at X. X was just barely able to dash out of the way as the claw dug into the wall. A swarm of the rat mechanoloids starts storming in from the walls, X having to divert his attention to deal with them. The rat Reploid was able to get his claw free and began rushing at X. X quickly turning around and firing a charge shot right at the Reploid's head. While X does get stabbed, the Reploid is put down, with the Rat Mechanoloid scurrying off. He's in a lot of pain, but he can't back down now. He goes over to the backup generator and restores partial power to Hunter Base before going off to find Sigma. X, I see your mission was successful. Good job. X found Sigma and Velgarder standing by the elevator. Commander, they're trying to infect the mother computer with that virus! I figured as much. The two then started hearing footsteps. A lot of them. It was a horde of the infected mavericks. As they crowded the hallways, there was no place to escape to except into the elevators. X held up his buster, but was shaking. He couldn't fight them. These were his friends, the other maverick hunters, the navigators. Sigma activates his saber and stands in front of X and Valgarder. Go to the elevator and get to the mother computer now. That's an order. Valgarder went to the elevator immediately, but X still stood. Commander, are you sure you can do this? Whether I can or not is of no concern. You were given an order. Now go. Commander. X hesitated, but... He did turn around and start running to the elevator. Sigma lunged into the horde and began slashing at them. He knew that this would be his final stand. The virus was almost completely taking him over, but if he was going to go down, he was going to go down fighting. X could hear the fighting behind him, but he knew he had to keep running. He had to do this. He was the only one left that could protect the mother computer. He went into the elevator along with Valgarder and told it to go down to the mother computer. There, it was a quiet ride down. Too quiet for his liking. But he knew he had to stay focused. 
As the elevator doors opened, they were met with the mother computer. However, there was someone else standing in front of it. It appeared to be a humanoid reploid with red and white armor and a blue gemstone on its forehead, with a W that seemed to be glowing inside of it. However, it had the black eyes, like the infected mavericks, but without the red pupils. And it was giving off some sort of strange energy. X knew that this reploid was different than all the others. Velgarder immediately started to growl as X aimed his buster. So, you're the one behind this? The reploid only responded with a roar as energy started exploding out of its body. Doesn't look like I have a choice. I'm going to end this now! X tried to fire some buster shots at the reploid, however, it began a flying toward him at a speed that he couldn't react to. The buster shots bouncing off of its body as it grabs X by the neck and slams him into the floor. Velgarder then tried to breathe a stream of fire onto the back of the reploid, but that only seemed to annoy it. It turned its free arm into another buster and shot a large buster shot at Valgarder, which instantly blew him apart. X struggled, trying to fire more shots, but they barely left a dent in the Reploid, as it then shot a hole right through X's chest. X's body fell to the ground. He tried to pick himself back up, but he couldn't. He knew he had to keep fighting, he had to get more power from somewhere. That's when the gemstone on his forehead began to glow. Suddenly, he felt a rush of energy flow through his entire body, and with one swift blow, he fired the biggest charge shot he had ever fired. It completely engulfed the Reploid, vaporizing it. He had done it. The battle was finally over. He knelt down to Velgarder's body, picking up what he could. He was planning to bury it, but first he had to find Commander Sigma. The elevator doors were suddenly pried open as the Maverick Horde began to flood into the room. There was no sign of Sigma. He didn't have time to think about that. X yelled as he lunged at the Horde, giving it everything he had. Hello, my name is Dr. Kane, and if you are listening to this message, I would hope that the tragedy has passed, and I am truly sorry. It was my fault that the Maverick virus had ever come to be. After I brought the Reploids into being, I'm not sure how I can atone for my sins. But if this is ever found in a time of peace, I truly do apologize for everything I have brought. And that is the end to our first Halloween What If. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure you check out our wonderful artists, Nerd Princess and Capsized Moons. Check out our Discord, all of which are in the description below. And I will see you guys next time.